Hey there, I'm Jenna from OpenPhone. OpenPhone is an all-in-one business phone system for startups and small businesses. If you haven't tried OpenPhone yet, head on over to openphone.co to sign up for your free trial. From customers to suppliers to leads and others, you may have a dozen or more active conversations you need to keep track of in OpenPhone. In this video, I'll show you how to optimize your OpenPhone inbox so you can stay on top of all those conversations. Before we go any further, let's define what an OpenPhone inbox is. An OpenPhone inbox contains all the phone and text communication tied to a specific number. In other words, if you have multiple phone numbers in your OpenPhone workspace, each number has its own inbox. First, let's look at naming your inbox so you can always tell what number a caller is attempting to reach. Go into settings from the left hand menu and select phone numbers. Let's say you want to update the settings for a company's main line. Go ahead and click on that number to update the name. Under symbol and name, you can add an emoji and inbox name. This lets you easily see what number a caller is attempting to reach when you have more than one phone number. Here, let's name the number Mainline. Now that our inbox has a clear name, let's look at how you can declutter your inbox. After clicking into an inbox, you'll see open conversations. In an organized inbox, these are active conversations with your contacts. You can filter conversations by unread to show only text, voice messages, or missed calls you haven't seen. If you read a text message and want to follow up on it later, you can mark the conversation as unread by clicking here, or just select the conversation and type the letter U on your keyboard. Let's say you don't want to reply later, but you want someone else on your team to respond. With open phone, you can also comment internally and tag a teammate. They'll receive a notification in their activity feed that you tag them. Finished with a conversation? Whether it's a closed ticket, completed deal, or anything else you no longer are working on, you can remove it from your main inbox view. Click into the conversation you want to close, then select the check mark here or type the letter E on your keyboard. This sends it to the done section of your inbox, which you can access by clicking the done filter at the top of the page. If your contact follows up, their message will automatically move back into the open section of your inbox. Now, what if you want to keep teammates that don't use open phone in the loop on incoming messages or give specific inboxes in your workspace more visibility on your team Slack or when you're checking emails, you can set up automatic notifications. Here's how. Let's go back to our phone number settings, select the team's main number, then scroll down to integrations, click connect to your email, by default, the email address associated with your profile will receive email notifications. However, you can also click the ellipsis and select edit to update the address that gets these emails. You can add as many other email addresses as you like, separated by commas to keep your entire team on the same page. Then toggle on what notifications you want to get through email. You can get email notifications for incoming messages, missed calls, and voicemail transcripts. Just above the email setup, you'll see you can also connect to Slack to push these notifications to any Slack channel. This can be helpful if your team gets an emergency message during the evening and someone needs to hop on to respond. Or if you text your customers asking for feedback and want to automatically share their responses with your team in Slack. To learn more about our Slack integration, check out the link above. That's all for now on optimizing inboxes. Don't have OpenPhone yet? Sign up for a free trial on openphone.co. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.